Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem boats to save people. We're given an array of people and each value in this array represents a person, of course, but more specifically, it represents the weight of that person. We're also given an infinite number of boats where each boat has a max weight limit that's also given to us as a parameter of the function. So each boat will have the exact same weight limit. And there's another restriction that each boat can carry at most two people. But for us, that's good because it actually simplifies the problem. But also, of course, the two people, the sum of the weights of the two people can't exceed the limit of that boat, which is straightforward. Our goal is to determine the minimum number of boats it would take to carry all of the people. And it's always gonna be possible to do that because we're also told that every single person is going to be within the weight limit of you know, the boat. So since we are given a weight limit and we're trying to get the minimum number of boats, how should we go through the list of people and their weights? Suppose the limit was something like 10. And then, you know, we had one person whose weight is four. Now, and we still have our entire list of people left. So who should we pair this person with? Well, we maybe we could pair them with someone who weighs one. That's a valid choice. Maybe there's another person who weighs two. Maybe there's a person who weighs six six. Wouldn't that be the ideal person to pair this person with? Because we're reaching as close to the limit as we possibly can. We're carrying two people per boat. So that's kind of what we want to do, right? We might reach the exact same solution with pairing them with the person who only weighs one, but we don't know for sure yet. It might turn out that in our array, there's a one, a six, and a nine, right? If we use the one and the four together, then we're going to need one separate boat for the six and one separate boat for the nine because they can't both be on the same boat because they weigh too much. So this is really leading us towards a greedy solution. So for every person we have, we want to pair them so that we get close to the limit as we possibly can. So on that train of thought of being greedy, it would probably be better to get the heaviest people first because using that same example, if we start with the heaviest people, we will still have the least heavy people to pair them up with. And that's exactly what we want to do, of course. We'd want to pair the heaviest person with the least heaviest person if it's possible. So this is very much a greedy solution. Now the question is, how are we going to find the heaviest person and also the least heaviest person? If we were only looking for the heaviest, then we could probably go with a heap approach. But since we want the heaviest and the least heaviest, then we probably should sort the input array because it's not really sorted for us necessarily. So this is very much a problem that your intuition can actually lead you to the solution. There's not a ton of fancy stuff going on here. So we're going to be greedy. We're going to sort the input array. We're going to start with the heaviest person and then check, can we pair them up with the lightest person? In this case, yes, we can. So we're going to use one boat and you know carry both people. We can't carry three people no matter what we do, even if they're within the weight limit, but in this case, carry these two people. So next we would start with the next heaviest person and then also with the next lightest person. So as you're kind of seeing, we're really going for a two-pointer approach. This is a pretty standard algorithm. Hopefully you've seen it before where we sort the input array, go with a two pointer approach, and then uh, decrement our right pointer accordingly and increment our left pointer accordingly when we need to. Now it could be possible that maybe this one is actually a two. In that case, we would need a dedicated boat for this nine, then our right pointer would be here, our left pointer would stay here. We couldn't necessarily take them in the same boat, but that's kind of the algorithm. We would just continue it at this point. This six, can we pair them up with someone? Yes, we can. So in this case, we'd use one boat for these two, and then we would increment our two pointers. In this case, they'd be at the same index. So we'll have to watch out for that when we actually write our code. Since both our pointers are here, then we can put you know just this one person in a single boat. We'll have to make sure we're not adding the same value twice, but all in all, it took us three boats in this case. And so that's what we're gonna return. So overall, our time complexity is not really bottlenecked by the two-pointer approach. It's based on the sorting that we're doing before that, which is n log n. So with that said, let's jump into the code now. So now let's code it up. We are given our people array. 
and that's what we want to sort before we actually start this problem and then our result is going to be the number of boats now i probably should call it boats but i've always called it results so i'm kind of just stick with that our two pointers are going to be initialized in a pretty straightforward way at the beginning and at the end of the array and then we're going to go while the pointers have not crossed each other they can be equal to each other because that means there still is one person left which is fine but they can't cross each other because that means we ran out of people now we're always going to start with the heaviest person so what we're going to do is just take our limit and then subtract from it the heaviest person who is going to be at the right pointer. So this is basically the weight that is remaining for the current boat that we're using. Since we took this person and put them on a boat, let's go ahead and decrement our right pointer and increment our result. But the only question is, can we take the lightest person now and also put them on the same boat? That's the case if the remaining weight is greater than or equal to the uh, person at the la uh, left index. But also, let's not forget that edge case. What if the left and right pointers are equal to each other? That means there's one person left. That means maybe this was the last person. So let's check that in our conditional. Before we even check if there's enough weight remaining, let's check that there still is a person left. We know that if the left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. Because remember, we just decremented our right pointer over here. So if there's a person left and enough weight to hold them, let's put them on the boat. We can do that pretty easily just by incrementing our left pointer. We don't have to do anything else. Uh, after that's said and done though, we can go ahead and return our result and let's run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes it does, and it's pretty efficient. So I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.